the cynics and the skeptics. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry you can't dream big, and I'm sorry you don't believe in miracles. This is a hard sporting event, and hard work wins it, so um, vive la tour. My name is Lance Armstrong. I am a cancer survivor. I've been asked to come up here and talk about my story of survivorship. I'm a father of five. And yes, I won the Tour de France seven times. Lance Armstrong n'est plus le vainqueur des Tours de France de 99 à 2005. Et pour nous, et comme je l'avais dit il y a une dizaine de jours, nous souhaitons que le palmarès du Tour de France de ces années-là soit blanc. I was very upset in the beginning because the, the doctor said, you know, the chances are you are going to die. Before, I never got sick, I never got a cold, never bronchitis, never a stomach problem, nothing. And then one day they told me that I had cancer throughout my body, everywhere. They say everything looks good and looks like everything is gone, but I'm scared. <laughs> is that I didn't win. I didn't win at all. Uh, and I was completely disillusioned, fell out of love with the sport, fell out of love with the bike, didn't like my job, didn't like Europe, um, and I quit. The guy's been through so much, he deserves this more than anybody. He's gonna do it, and it's for him. This is his Tour de France, Tour de Lance. Hard work is, 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 the, is the best drug there is. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we've, we've been able to prove that we won the 2000 Tour de France absolutely clean. You 
des menaces, il a été violent dans ses gestes, il m'a attrapé par les pauvres violents, violemment, il m'a parlé de manière violente, mais... Lance's story from cancer diagnosis to a third straight victory in the Tour de France is one of the great human stories. It is a story of character, and it is a story of class. It's been a very difficult three weeks, of course. Um, but somehow along the way, you have these problems. And uh, you always look back to, to, to 1996, and you realize that uh, a crash on Luz Ardiden or uh, a little cyclocross into Gap is not nearly as bad as sitting in a hospital room in Indianapolis, Indiana. And so drawing on that experience helps and perhaps is one of the secrets to winning the tour. My friends tell me, Lance, what are you going to do now? You're a guy who, who races for every city limit sign with your friends. You're a guy who, who can't stand to lose at anything. What are you going to do now that you don't have sport to fill your life? Lance knows everything that happened. He's the one that knows what, who did what, because he was the ringleader. We were de fully delinquents, you know, if, if not criminals. If there was one product you could almost not do without, it was EPA. Tour de France, c'est un morceau de notre patrimoine. Tour de France, c'est un géant. Tour de France, c'est bien plus que du sport. Tour de France, c'est un, un lien social. Tour de France, c'est toutes les familles au bord des routes. Donc les premières victimes, ce sont ces gens-là. Mais je suis sûr qu'ils vont rester avec nous. Je suis sûr qu'ils vont rester au bord des routes. Parce que ce qui a été mis en place ces dernières années doit à nouveau permettre d'y croire. been lying for years. He's lied to presidents. He's lied to Larry King. He's lied to Oprah before. He's been lying about how many tests he passed, you know, 500 tests. He only took about 250. Lied about not seeing Dr. Ferrari, a known doping doctor. He lies about everything. So now for him to come out and actually change and say and admit that he was doping during uh, his career, it's a big step. What does it mean? I, I don't know. Where does it lead? I'm not sure, but uh, it's a start. This guy is shameless. He has no remorse. He's not made amends. Yet he still, he just doesn't, he doesn't want to go away. Why? Why?